welcome to this video I'm Dr. Ojo. I quickly want to make this video to show you a very very neat tool I'm really excited about this one that could identify whatever comes out of chat GPT it's going to detect it hundred percent and this tool the nice thing is this tool was not created by any third party it was created by the creators of chat GPT themselves open AI so it was created by open AI really I found this tool from open AI themselves so very very useful and highly accurate and I'm going to demonstrate this with some examples so you know um, how to use this tool and how accurate it could be and um, it could even dictate it if, if you try to paraphrase whatever comes out of chat GPT so here we go so that we don't waste time uh, I, I've created some prompts already okay so I'm just gonna walk you through them so let's say there is a student that wants to write a, a grad school application or a statement of purpose on for a PhD so I use the prompt write a 1000 word statement of purpose for graduate school applicants or application in bioengineering so it gave me this response very very neat response if you read that so it's 1000 words so like I said the the uh, website to find this detector is open uh, it's called GPT-2 Output Detector and I'm going to put the website on the screen right now so you can uh, use that and I'll, I'll also put it in the description below so you can uh, use that so this is a great tool for educators worldwide so um, let me just delete some of my experiment there this is where it's going to bring you to if you use the link now let's um, do something let's copy this document this statement let's copy this let's copy this into that tool okay so you can see prediction based on the first 510 tokens among a total of 520 now I, I'm not sh I'm not an expert on um, how tokens work but they use these tokens to kind of create some of the responses that's my understanding that this uh, chat GPT puts out when you give it a prompt now you can see that you know this particular essay the percentage for being fake is 99% which is highly accurate now I'm going to compare that with another essay that was written by one of my uh, mentees in the same field as well so uh, this is the essay uh, from a student who is a, a, applying to a bioengineering department to in UC Berkeley so let's copy the whole thing right let's copy this and um, let's try to do that so paste so you can see it's 99.97 percent real 99.97 percent real so this shows me that this tool is highly accurate if you wrote something if if an essay is an original uh, write-up from any student it's going to tell you which is fake or real now let's let's assume that um, a student used chat GPT right so I'm coming back to the essay from chat GPT now I'm coming to the essay rather so let's say uh, this student is very wise and um, you know understands that there are some tools that can help you paraphrase so let's let's use a paraphrasing tool um, I'm probably just going to let's see what's the so I'm going to copy the last paragraph I don't want to use the whole thing let's copy the last paragraph and I opened a paraphrasing tool here box 
So let's just paste that. And it's just 97 words. You can do something longer than that. But I do want to upgrade to premium for, for this uh, particular video. So I'm just going to do a short paragraph. So this is the paraphrased paragraph right on my right. So let's copy that. So at least this tool tried to paraphrase. In summary, you, the tool used to sum it up. Uh, you know, let's let's see what it will come up with with the paraphrased version. So you can see that still it tells you this is 99% fake. So if it's fake, it's coming from an AI tool, which is likely, uh, of course, likely Chat GPT. Of course, it's not 100% uh, because you no, know, not no model would be. I don't think we we are there at this moment. No model will be 100% right, but I think this is a this is highly accurate in, in at least in statistical terms. Okay. Now, for all educators, this is great, and I hope people would use this. Not just educators themselves, but students as well, to understand that when they are using these AI tools, um, educators can detect it. So you, you should only use this tool to, to generate prompts that you can now go back and think about your own experiences and develop a unique um, essay or whatever it is you are trying to write. Now, another thing that I want to show is there might be a slight chance that this tool might not be 100% right. So what I'm saying is that the degree of error of this tool might be higher if the paragraph, if the writing is really small. Um, so I think it's more accurate if you have longer, uh, longer words or longer statements like a 1000 word essay or so if it's just a paragraph it might really uh, increase the the error rate so let, let for example let me go to this original essay again and just copy the first paragraph you can see that it's a very short paragraph so if i do that um you can see the probabilities are now kind of evenly split <coughs> so it's like it's even telling me that this is likely fake, but this is really not uh, a fake writing. It's from a student. This was something written before Chat GPT came out, okay, like two years ago. So I think the point I'm trying to make is if you're going to use this tool, try to make sure that you are using it for uh, longer statements or essays. I would say something around so let's just let's do the experiment right now using the uh, original essay okay let's see how much of how, how much words it probably needs to be to be right so let's let's copy this so the first two paragraphs and those are like 297 words okay so after pasting that, you can see that um, the probability for this to be real is back to 99%. So again, you need longer paragraphs uh, or, or statements to really get this tool trained to detect uh, what's real and what's fake. So short paragraphs like the first one might not cut it so that's just where we need to be careful as you know if you're an educator trying to use this tool so that's all i have i hope this will be useful for all educators out there so before you get angry at me if you're a student this also can help you to ensure that whatever you have written um either with the help of chat gpt or outside that know that uh, this would pass a plagiarism test before you submit it okay i think it's a win-win for everyone 
uh, in the next one I'm going to show you how you can use this tool to review documents if you don't have anyone to review your documents for you. So see you in the next video and please don't forget to subscribe.